kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I will teach you how to insert the images in internal storage of Android. So basically Android provides many kind of storages for application to store their data for example uh, shared preferences then they have the SQLite database and external uh, storage and also they have the internal storage. So I will teach you how to st store the images or files in internal storage and also I will teach you later that how to re retrieve the images or files from the internal storage. So basically by default these files are private and are accessed by only our application and it the data is deleted after you uninstall the application. Okay so basically there, there is a tutorial from which I had learned and there you can see writing a file we can use file output stream then we have file input stream for reading the file and many other methods are there okay so in this video we will only talk about how to store the images so let's get started so basically what i will do is the user will be able to pick the images from the gallery and then the the picked image will be saved into the internal storage so let's get started so here first of all let me create the button for the user to pick up the image from the gallery and here we have this button and I named the button as pick image and when the user picks up the image so okay so for that we need the user permission for read external storage then after specifying the permission now we are here and what we are going to do is we are going to create a separate method for on click of the button on click so we can say public void button pick image and we pass the view object here and here we have uh, intent and after that we can say i dot set type and for the images so we can say image slash and also we can set ex uh, use the set action method and here we can say intent dot action get content and finally we can say start activity for result so first of all there will be intent dot uh, create <laughs> chooser and in here we will provide i and select image and final it will be 101 okay and now we need to override the method on activity result and here we can check if the request code is 101 and result code is result ok and data is not equal to null so we can uh, get the uri from the intent so we can say uri equal to data dot get data ok and now in order to save the image we need the name of file and also we will be requiring the path of file okay so these two are the things which we need from this uri okay so if you write or if you try to search from google you will find the uh, the method so here i teach you how to fetch the path so we can say how to fetch the path from uri in android and there you can see there are a lot of examples from where you can see that how to retrieve okay these are the methods and but what i will choose is okay so i will basically just uh, copy the uh, the same code which i used and uh, for that i will upload the this project source code to and i will upload the link in the video description all right so here we can simply say string path equal to get real path from uri and what we will be providing to this method is the uri okay and here we can create the method 
and inside that method we uh, okay so I will just copy the code okay so that is the method you don't need to get worried you can always get the code from me and you just need to paste it here and okay so here we also need the context and okay so here this is the URI and here we can provide the context so we can pass this alright so now we have got the path now the second step is we also need to fetch the name of the file so we can say string name equal to get file name and here we can sorry we can create the method get file name and here we can I just uh, copy the code and I paste it here and here we can okay so it we also have the URI object here alright so these two are the methods which you can get from the source code which I have provided in the video description and after you get these two things and here we need to provide the URI okay so now you have got the path and the name okay so now the real uh, topic begins of storing the information or the image into the internal storage so here we can say we can create a separate method or we can say insert in private storage and what it will require is the name and the path of the image so here we can simply we can simply say create method and here what we are going to do is we ha are going to first of all as we receive the name and path so here we can use the file output stream equal to open file output okay this is the the method and in here we can provide the name of the file and also the mode so this we can say mode append so basically mode append uh, does not uh, it uh, does not replace the file uh, it uh, just adds another file all right so here it is saying that you need to uh, handle the exception file not found so here we can just okay so here we also need to surround it with with cache uh, try cache block and here after we specify the file output stream we now need to have the file equal to new file and in here we can pass the the path okay and finally okay so now we need to fetch the uh, bytes from this file object so we can say byte bytes equal to get bytes from file and here we can pass this file alright so let's create the this method and inside that method we can simply say byte data equal to file utils dot read file to byte array and here we can pass this file and we can just return the data okay so here you can see that this is file utils is not available so what you need to do is uh, we can just copy that dependency and add it to our project so here we can simply say okay and click on sync now and 
now you can see that okay so here you need to handle the io exception and also you need to put the io exception here okay so now here we have got the bytes and uh, now we can simply insert the bytes uh, or write the bytes so we can say fos dot write and inside that we can just pass the bytes okay and finally we can just close this file output stream okay so i i hope that uh, and i think that it is now enough so let's try to okay so after we create insert here we can simply print a message file save in and here we can get files directory plus this and we can say plus name all right so let's try to run the project and first of all let me connect my phone and now I have connected my phone and so we try to run the app okay so now the application is getting installed okay so I think I forgot to add the on click method here so we can say on click button image pick and in the uh, meanwhile let me enable the permission for reading the external storage or I think mm, okay so here we have got let me open the app and we will enable the permission because we are uh, getting the images from the gallery okay so here now let's try to run the app again and here I click on <laughs> images and I open the gallery and let's say I pick this image and you can see that this pic, uh, image is saved to the file directory private file directory and if I click here and you are able to see that file saved okay so guys I hope you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye